super early title decider between two of the greatest managers in world football and a super early cup upset settling a score from the weekend. Hi, I'm Sarah and this is Footy Talks. Although the Carabao Cup is decidedly low priority for most EPL sides, the competition has already created some high drama this week. In a rematch of last Sunday's Premier League clash, West Ham took revenge on a Man United B team that certainly won't have given Ole Gunnar Solskjaer any selection problems for the weekend. With the likes of Mata Martial and Donny van de Beek in the lineup, fans can't be too disappointed with the loss. But there is one genuine concern amongst the Man United faithful right now. Where is Jaden Sancho? The young England midfielder was nowhere to be seen in this game. Cutting a despondent and peripheral figure out on the left and culpable for his role in West Ham's first half goal. It has some fans asking a terrifying question. Could Sancho become the next Donny? Is he destined for a life on the bench limited to care about cup cameos? For Sancho's sake, we at the parlay seriously hope not. In a packed weekend of fixtures, Chelsea versus Manchester City is one of Saturday's standout games. This week, we featured two different ways to approach the game, with James Sharman making it his proper match of the week and Albert Vertanian giving us his three picks in EPL Minute. Let's hear from James and Albert now about a match between two of EPL's biggest summer spenders. There are a ton of intriguing matches this weekend in the Premier League, but with respect to the North London derby, Villa United and even Leeds West Ham, which should be a really, really good match by the way. If you only have 90 minutes to spare this weekend, it really should be Chelsea hosting Man City. European champions against English champions, and yes, there's history, because to win a Champions League, the Blues beat the Sky Blues. Of course, remember that? When Pep got it all wrong on the day? The two favourites entering this season, and even now, five rounds into the season, they are the bookies' top two faves. So is it too soon to call this a title decider? Of course it is. I mean, even if City win, they'll at least be, what, tied for first place? Now, let's all calm down. This is a huge match, but consider this. At this point last season, that's just five matches in. Everton, your yeah, Everton, were in first place. Villa were second. Liverpool third. Leicester fourth. Chelsea were eighth. City were 11th. 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 The point is, don't get too carried away with media types like me. Telling you games like these are the biggest global events since, since the Big Bang. Also consider that last season the top two teams, City and Manchester United, played to a nil-nil early in the season, and then a 2-0 United win later in the season. They're just not too often deciders. But when they are... So just allow yourself to enjoy Saturday's match without too much riding on it, except of course that massive wager. Actually, these two are so close, there isn't much value, but a low scoring draw is decent and it's screaming out to me, so that's what I'm going for. They're only two and a half million pounds apart, but Romelu Lukaku has arguably been the better signing this season so far. And that's because he actually solved the problem that Chelsea had, whereas Jack Grealish joined Man City's roster as one of at least five other attacking midfielders. The Belgium looks like the missing piece in Chelsea's title winning puzzle. And that's why we're picking Chelsea to win this one against Pep Guardiola's strikerless Man City side. In front of the home fans at Stamford Bridge and the world-class service coming from the midfield and the flanks, Lukaku will be eager to get on the score sheet. So we're going to take Lukaku to score first at big money odds. But Manchester City will also have their chances and Jack Realist will have plenty of opportunities to score. So we're going to take him to score any time in this fixture as well. So here are my picks. Chelsea to win at plus 162, Lukaku to score first at plus 400, and Jack Grealish to score any time at 4-1 to one odds. It was 2 out of 3 in last week's EPL parlay, with Everton suffering a surprise 3-0 loss to Villa. And if you haven't seen it yet, check out our three-team Moneyline parlay for this weekend's action, including our pick for Sunday's North London Derby. Take Arsenal to beat Tottenham in the North London Derby at plus 125. Take Manchester United to continue their unbeaten run with a victory over Villa at minus 275. Take Pep Guardiola's Man City to outbox Chelsea and win on the day at plus 175 for a parlay of plus 743. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow at The Parlay on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram and come see us at theparlay.com.